Dear friends, today I am going to present you a very variety recipe. Thai dry rice biryani. Thai dry rice biryani. For making this uh, chicken dry rice biryani, we are taking 1 kilo chicken that we have actually made uh, uh, medium sized pieces and uh, uh, we require chilli that is 4 chilli then uh, 10 pieces of garlic 10 or 15 is fine and then uh, we require pepper that is 10 to 15 uh, pepper black pepper and uh, you can use turmeric that is uh, for one kilo we require one uh, teaspoon turmeric and uh, uh, two teaspoon of chili powder and uh, one and a half te teaspoon of coriander powder then uh, we have to use cinnamon uh, then we have to use cardamom uh, three pieces cinnamon barks two pieces small then uh, we have to use jeera two pinches then we have to use uh, biryani leaf then we can use kismis kaju or any those kind of things the uh, resins uh, that you can use on top of it so these are all the basic ingredients using this so let's start with the preparation for preparing this recipe we require rice so we have taken half kg white rice and we already cooked this so let me show you this and uh, this should be drained off and we have to take uh, uh, the dry rice out of this so that is our next process and after that we will start with the uh, chicken preparation starting with uh, uh, preparing uh, need to add uh, uh, the required uh, turmeric chili powder and uh, coriander powder is already added uh, now need to add uh, the required salt in this after adding salt we have to mix it very well this is our first step Now uh, this chicken is already uh, mixed with uh, the required uh, ingredients and uh, it's now keeping for another 15 to 15 minutes half an hour so that uh, uh, it will be good in taste means all the uh, required uh, ingredients will be uh, will be adhered to this uh, item so it will be very good so we can go for our uh, next process uh, we have to use oil uh, for this uh, thai white rice uh, biryani uh, for this uh, i am adding edible oil we have to use four teaspoon of edible oil and uh, uh, then we have to fry this onion in this once oil is uh, started boiling then we have to add uh, onion then fry this uh, up to 50 percentage only Specialty of this is only 50 percent you have to fry it. You have to thoroughly stir this to ensure uh, oil is in all part of the onion so that it will uniformly get fried. 
we have used uh, three big onions for this. So I forgot to mention in the description initially. This we have to keep in low flame and fry it. That is the speciality. This is for block flame for uh, 5 to 7 minutes. Our next step is uh, to prepare ginger garlic paste along with the chili. So we put all these together and uh, using a hand grinder, we are actually just uh, made a paste of ginger, garlic and uh, green chili. We have used actually a little bit of ripened chili but uh, that will give a uh, good uh, taste also so no problem we will add this later on we will go ahead with the preparation process now uh, this onion uh, about half cooked after seven minutes now we have to add uh, that uh, ginger garlic and chili paste in this So we can add this uh, ginger garlic paste to this. So we have added okay. all these are in low flame. Stir it very well and make it uh, completely mix. Now after two minutes, we have to add the prepared chicken to this. Just before adding the chicken, we have to add just before adding chicken, we have to add uh, the ingredients. First, we have to add uh, turmeric. Half spoon, half teaspoon. Then we have to add uh, Tania powder, one and a half. Then we have to add a chili powder, two, approximately two, not full two. This is actually chicken powder that we can add for taste. Now we are done with this. Now we have to completely stir this. Now we have to increase the flame little bit high and uh, mix this thoroughly and ensure that uh, all these are put together and mixing so the taste will be a different one. Then we have to add a little salt after adding the chicken because in chicken we already added uh, salt but uh, on top of this we have to add a little bit of uh, salt you can add it uh, right away also now i am adding uh, salt to this and again we have to mix it i have mixed it very well at the same time i have lowered that flame also Now we can add chicken to this. Okay. 
now we have to mix it very well Uh, let this uh, cook for another 4-5 minutes only. After that, uh, we will transfer this to uh, the biryani uh, vessel. So, we are actually uh, transferring this to uh, another burner. Then, I will uh, put the biryani vessel here. Biryani vessel. Okay. Now in this, actually, we are going to add a little bit of oil. It is two teaspoon after uh, uh, this water is over. Now adding that oil to tablespoon. After oil warming, we have to add uh, pepper. It's in low flame only. I am adding some around 15 to 20 black pepper. And after that, uh, I am adding Thai chili. Three Thai chili I am just adding to this. You can add uh, up to five Thai chili in that. And after that, uh, you have to add green chili along with this. That is normally three green chili only you have to add. Then you have to add a jira. And this. Two pinch jira that we have to add. And we have almost done this. Now this is actually a special preparation. It is giving good taste because of this uh, Thai chili and green chili we have to just uh, fry a little bit of this not much do this only for maximum 2 minutes otherwise it will uh, become black it's not, that's not good for uh, its taste I have added the uh, cardamom also into this by adding the uh, this jira along with this uh, the jira actually I just sorry the cardamom I actually uh, peeled and uh, put it along with this. Now I am transferring the prepared chicken to this first. It has oil in it already. Semi, all these are semi cooked items, not fully cooked. So I have to actually mix this in the bigger vessel completely. This all these are half cooked right now. And the rice we made is also 75% cooked. So we will transfer the rice on top of it. And that is the next process. So transferring the rice now. That looked like a dump, but uh, the process is a little bit uh, different. I will show you. Now we have to add one small light layer of jeera on top of it. Adding uh, jeera on top of it. Not much. 
but uh, in all area you have to cover it with. Okay. Now, if you have the coriander leaf, you can just put a few coriander leaves on top of it. I don't have it right now. So, I am just going to cover this. Now, you have to keep this for near about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. The time you have to calculate for your chicken cooking time. Rice is almost cooked. So, uh, that's all we have done. Now, after 15 minutes, this will be ready. This is how it is now. We are waiting for 15 minutes, almost uh, 7 minutes over. Thai white rice chicken biryani both are said. Super. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 